All right, we're going to do a box opening of the high tech multi charger. It's a X4 AC plus. It's an AC DC charger. Does lipos, YFE, Li ion, nickel cadmium, and I MH batteries and lead acid PB. see the specs nice thing about this one you can either plug it into the wall or you can plug it into your car to charge so you get your AC power cord pair of banana clips with Alligators on one end. One of these for your nickel cadmium batteries. Now I put these ends on. Normally you get two banana clips and they're bare wired on the other end. Most of my batteries are XT60, so I put XT60 connectors on them. And this is your main power cord to hook to your battery. Put your alligator clips to hook to your battery on this end, under your banana clips. And then the XT60 end plugs into the charger. You get one of your JR servo type power connectors with banana clip. And you get your adapter for your LiPos S2 to S6. And you get the XH adapter. That goes from 2S to 6S. Then you get your XH adapter, 2S to 6S. And here's the charger. Here's your AC plug. This is your DC plug. And then you got two PC link sets and monitor your temperature if you want. Then you plug your lipo connectors in here, your balance plugs. When you get them, these are actually disconnected. You plug them in. Then you plug your banana connectors in here. Plug this into your battery. I'll show you how to use this here. Recommend you do them one at a time. Pay attention so you don't set them wrong. Most batteries catch on fire, explode because of improper charging. Charge them on the wrong voltage or something like that. Start out with the small ones here. Plug this into your port here for a 2S battery. For your voltage or how many amps to charge on, this is an 850. You would do it on 0.8 amps or 0.85 amps. Just get that all plugged in there. And we come over here set up it to charge for a balance. So we're doing the lipo. We can do charge, balance, fast charge, storage, discharge, and starts over. We're going to do a balance on this 4S battery since it only charged up to 87%. I'm going to hit enter on that. It's at 3 amps. I'll leave that at 3 amps. That's good enough. You can charge a 5,000 milliamp anywhere up to 5 amps. I try to stay at 3 amps 
or under. It makes your batteries last longer. Hit the start button, set on 4S, that's what we're doing. So hold the start button, does your battery check. If you hook it up wrong or anything, that battery check will not work. Hit enter again, now it's charging. If you'd like to see any information about what your voltages are in your cells, you can click on that. There's some other information here. You can see where your end voltages are set, where your capacity cutoff is at, your safety timer. They shut off at 120 minutes regardless. That's your temps. And there's no temps because it's not hooked up. It's your power for your end voltage. And that's pretty much it there. That's your normal screen. Alright. Now we'll set up on the top one here. Let me pick this up. This is going to be a 3S battery. It's a 2100 flight pack. Venom battery. 20C. 11.1 volts. We're just going to do a charge on this one. So we just hit start. Twenty one hundred pack max we can charge at is two point one. I always charge under. So we're gonna charge it at one point five. Like I said, they'll last a lot longer if you charge them slower. Every fourth or fifth charge I always do a balance charge. That also helps. You can do a balance charge every time if you'd like. So hit enter. Set that for 3S. Hit enter again. And hold it. And we'll do a battery check. Hit enter again. Now it's charging. And again, there you can see what your voltages are currently at. Now we'll bump down to this one and check this one again. Let's see if we can go through the same checks on this one. This one set at 5,000. Like I said, if you're going to charge over 5,000 amp batteries on any one of these numbers, you have to change the individual number. Each one has their own bank for the settings and that's pretty much it this is what you get when it's full it'll also uh, beep at you here's something that a lot of people get and they don't realize what it means when it flashes here cap Kappa. There's actually a setting in here for when you charge this to change the capacity from 5,000 amps. And stop again until you get to program. <clears throat> and you hit start. And hit your arrow keys. So you see the one that says capacity cutoff, 5,000 milliamp. It's turned on, as you can see. And what you want to do is hit start, hit start again, and change the capacity. I do 5,200. I'm not only sure 5,000 milliamp battery gets topped off instead of only charging to a little under 90 percent and you just hit start and then that's saved so the next time you charge a battery on this one it will 
charge up to your full capacity. I generally just do it on one. I keep it on number four. So whenever I do a quick charge on one of my 5,000 milliamp ones, I always do them on four, and then it'll top out with 100% charge. Should never leave a lipo battery unattended when you're charging. If you ever have to store them, give them a storage discharge. This battery charger will do it. Most of your four button battery chargers are the same. Uh, you have to charge them unattended. Try to lay them in the middle of a concrete floor, away from anything flammable. Outside in your driveway, in the middle of your garage on a concrete floor, away from your cars any kind of flammable stuff these batteries can explode and it isn't good when they do a buddy of mine lost his uh, garage over it and they do burst into flames sometimes at unexpected times and if they get puffy it's not worth your house for a puffy battery it's 20 bucks so uh, throw them out when they get puffy or if they're still under warranty send them back thanks for watching